Hi, if you really want to clear your concepts in genetics, this lecture series is definitely for you. Basically, in today's lecture, uh, we will uh, start from the mental's uh, arrival in genetics and how uh, and what are the parameters that made mental correct uh, and what is the location of genes uh, uh, actually in the cell. Now, from our uh, last lecture, we also know that genetics is nothing but the transmission of genetic information. Now, this transmission um, basically uh, happens or what we can relate very easily is from parent to offspring, which is actually called the transmission genetics. Uh, on the other hand, at molecular level, we uh, if we just question that how this transmission occurs or how the gene actually uh, implement different kinds of actions in the cell so that the entire metabolic processes of an organism run smoothly. So that uh, logic is actually discussed under the molecular developmental genetics. And finally, uh, is the population and evolutionary genetics that is actually concerned with uh, the flow of the genetic information uh, in different kinds of uh, populations. Uh, in this lecture, basically, uh, we will not uh, discuss about the exact molecular uh, mechanism, uh, but uh, in this uh, uh, like couple of uh, lectures uh, under the head of history of genetics uh, we will uh, just uh, cover uh, the different kinds of terminologies and the key uh, like inventions uh, I would say uh, that actually uh, need to know uh, to deal with uh, the modern uh, genetic technologies uh, basically in the genomics and metabolomics era. Uh, to uh, begin with, um, uh, it is better to uh, know uh, uh, an uh, interesting story. Uh, it was like uh, in, uh, in somewhere in um, uh, America, uh, there was a tribe uh, that once uh, existed that is called the Hopi farmers or the Hopi tribe. Now, uh, they were uh, all uh, like cultivating uh, the the maize or the corns. The thing is, whenever they actually noticed that whenever they plant a red kernel uh, in the field, um, and they they obtained uh, a new plant with the uh, concerned with uh, the uh, red um, uh, kernel uh, of of that particular um, corn or maize. So the even if, if they were planted uh, uh, a blue kernel, uh, they obtained a tree uh, of maize also with blue kernel. So it was their concept or their conclusion uh, that through the soil, um, the, when they are planting a particular kernel of a particular maize, they are sending uh, the information or message to God. Uh, and as a result or as a God's reply, uh, they actually they, they obtained the particular uh, plant of that uh, color. So people were curious uh, about all these things, but uh, they uh, couldn't uh, like answer uh, any kind of logical uh, or rational uh, points uh, over time uh, since even people are concerned with uh, the origin of science or the logic. Uh, actually, uh, the like begets like is a common phrase in genetics that we, we, we all know that um, uh, the, we, uh, the children actually resemble to our uh, parents. Uh, we always uh, even wonder but how these things actually happen uh, uh, maximum um, people were wondering about it but uh, for over like uh, decades of decades people were totally um, uh, just, uh, uh, just just wondering but, but, but couldn't conclude any uh, scientific details uh, specifically for, for the very first time in 1800 um, a theory that uh, evolved was the blending theory of uh, inheritance. Um, uh, in this theory, um, it was stated uh, that these genes actually flows uh, like uh um, like fluids, uh, there is an imaginary uh, heredity fluid uh, that actually uh, get uh, inherited from one generation to another. Basically, for our understanding, we are uh, using the word ge genetics or gene, but at that time, this word was totally unknown. Uh, nothing was known about uh, um, uh, genetics. Now, but the problem is this theory could not uh, provide uh, any kind of explanation uh, whether uh, these kinds of um, hereditary fluid. 
can be separated or not just like if we take suppose uh, um, uh, red and white um, paints and uh, if we mix it uh, we will get a, a, a pink one uh, so this was their explanation uh, that uh, whenever suppose we consider that the pink and the and the white is the individual parents and the offspring is like pink so the sorry uh, the parent and uh, the parents are suppose red and white and the uh, offspring we are getting is pink but whether uh, this uh, pink uh, like uh, pink color can be uh, from that pink can we obtain the white and and red it was totally unknown um, so 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 these are the, so there are kind of uh, speculations and uh, uh, regarding this um, theory though over time we will know that this theory was didn't have any kind of uh, scientific um, basis um, uh, one interesting feature that logically uh, this um, um, this Austrian monk uh, Mendel uh, he uh, actually started to think uh, this uh, genetic um, part very uh, seriously uh, basically uh, Mendel's um, target was to know uh, the transmission of trait from parent to offspring uh, utilizing a hybridization of different kinds of varieties of the um, pea plants uh, now uh, in uh, Mendel's uh, experiment um, basically what Mendel actually did uh, he just uh, just uh, allowed a, a cross um, between a pea variety with a purple flower uh, with another pea variety of white flower now Mendel observed that um, the, the first hybrid generation uh, like first time first hybrid generation means the first time when you are allowing the cross and you are obtaining the offsprings so after doing this Mendel observed that this generation of offspring uh, of the cross all had purple flowers um just like uh, one of the parents and there was no blending because if there was blending obviously they he would get uh, something uh, purple and white so the color of the flower of the offspring uh, should be the light uh, purple but uh, which didn't happen so definitely which uh, actually does doesn't justify um, or the or, or, or doesn't um, like obey the rule of uh, the inheritance of the the, the blending theory uh, now what mendel did that after when an offspring uh, developed when this offspring got matured Mendel allowed uh, this offspring for self uh, pollination now cross pollination is we know that suppose the purple flower and white flower to different plant they when we are allowing this cross we are uh, allowing mating of these two then it is called the cross pollination and when uh, in case of plant it actually occurs when uh, a particular flower a particular plant um, and lots of flowers are there and whenever a cross is uh, going on between the same within the same flower that is actually called the cell pollination so when Mendel uh, this is the cell pollination that means the second time uh, and uh, he obtained a second generation um, he like he got surprised and he uh, obtained that there were there, there was actually 705 uh, uh, purple flowers and 224 white flowers now uh, on roughly basis there was like one white flower for each uh, three uh, purple flower now obviously and that is why Mendel uh, concluded that the segregation of threes to one ratio uh, that we will uh, discuss uh, in our future now uh, this is the point that Mendel actually proved wrong uh, the blending theory of uh, inheritance now in case of so what is the overall conclusion of Mendel's all experiments that Mendel proposed that the factors that control these kinds of traits uh, they don't act like uh, fluids but rather they act like particles now what does it mean I will just uh, explain with the um, uh, with the diagram uh, now these particles do not blend together uh, rather they just passed in an intact form from one generation to another and and, and Mendel cross uh, Mendel actually told uh, these kinds of particle uh, as the factors not genes for our understanding understanding we are using the word uh, genes Mendel also proposed that this individual pea plant um, uh, has two copies of the gene that controls actually the flower color uh, in each of the cells in a plant body um, he also added 
that whenever the gametes that means the egg cells and the sperm cells are formed only one copy of this gene uh, is entered into the reproductive cells um, we know that whatever the organisms is, is there is there are two types of cells one is the somatic cell that is basically the constructs the entire body uh, of that organism another one is the sex cells um, uh, that uh, in case of uh, eukaryotes that actually designates uh, the male and female the two um, genders now he also proposes that the gene of a flower color comes in two variants uh, or alleles uh, and that condition um, actually is responsible for the purple flower and the white flower uh, the reason is what i am talking about suppose your trait is the flower color and for a particular plant suppose in pea plant uh, we are um, getting like two genes maybe the, um, the one is the black like, part suppose the purple uh, that that actually controls the purple color another one suppose that controls the white flower white color so so these are the two genes so the the gene is the a uh, flower color if we say consider a uh, flower color gene and there are two variants one is considering purple one is considering white so each of them is an allele uh, so this is the difference between the gene or uh, gene and allele so gene is the particular trait and when we see that that gene as an phenotypic basis appearing in different forms so each of the form is uh, known as the allele uh, now if we uh, see through the uh, cross first we have to focus in two ways don't focus on the balls uh, of the purple and the white balls here first focus on the uh, just uh, just the plants uh, now it is on the, on the first uh, first diagram we see that there is written that is parent so we are considering two plants mm, one is with the purple flower and the other one is the white flower now don't focus in the balls over there just focus on the plants now if we allow cross between them what mendel did mendel obtained some plants and one of them or in the plants in the, in the first uh, generation of the plants we can see uh, that all the flowers are uh, purple that mendel obtained so uh, it is a interesting question that how this white flower is eliminated right this can be one thing another uh, thing is that so if it is like uh, if we try to explain it with the theory of uh, uh, blending uh, we can't explain it because if blending theory is correct then in this then the first generation hybrid um, or, or the first generation of springs the, the color of the flower should be uh, light uh, purple not the purple as uh, seen one of the parents now uh, if we take suppose in the second generation this is a one example suppose now in the second uh, in the first generation if all the flowers are all the plants are with uh, purple flower purple flower now uh, mendel what did, did like mendel took took one of them and allowed self pollination to them now once self pollination occurred that means all the flowers uh, is uh, with uh, purple um, color now interestingly uh, he obtained another group of plants as offspring and here he saw that if we see the picture only the plants that three plants are there with purple flower another one is the white flower so if we see the immediate parent of this flower is the purple one so how this white flower appeared so this actually the point that mendel actually concluded so mendel told that when he allowed this self pollination uh now this occurred through uh, like uh, through forming gametes by the fusion of the egg cell and the sperm cell so now if we just uh, focus on the balls now that each gene has two copies just like uh the like this the two gene copies now in the first uh, image we can see the two purple balls and two uh, white balls so each of them is an allele now one when they are, they are crossing when we are allowing the cross for the first generation what is happening that uh, it is going to uh, uh, like fuse and form gametes so that means they are going to form this like they are coming from the sex cells uh, now what is when the sex cells is going to be formed one of the each copy only one copy is allowed to enter because the number should be in, in two so that is why one is coming from the blue one is coming from the white making it purple and white 
Now, when they are doing the selfing, so that means in the sex cells, uh, they actually got separated because I, whenever a, a reproductive cell or sex cells is there, either it will be uh, like male or female. If it is a male, obviously there will be the sperm, and it will be the female one. It will be the uh, egg. So if we just uh, with this checkerboard, if we just uh, like uh, allow the cross between them, so if we take each of the combination we will see how this uh, the, the the flow of this uh, genes actually occur and finally we got these kinds of uh, uh, like uh, th these kinds of feature with a different color so with this Mendel concluded that genes actually behave like particles, not like the paints. Uh, and another thing is that one allele is dominant to other. Why this one? If it is just see on the first generation, that uh, the the purple one suppressed the white one and expressed itself. So it now plant to plant, species to species, it may happen that if two or three alleles are there, one should be dominant to or can be dominant to other one so that is his conclusion that one allele is dominant to other now if now how did the mendel uh, get it right when others uh, actually go wrong basically uh, there is another interesting to uh, story uh, of uh, bettison william bettison because at that time uh, this mendel's experiment uh, like uh, were just uh, informed the people got informed in different states like belgium and netherlands they started experiments and they actually obtained a quite suitable result but still the scientific evidence uh, or people a bit speculative it was not uh, clear then now bettison uh, was uh, in uh, 1900 uh, in between 1900 and 1905 Bettison was traveling uh, in London uh, with this Mendel's paper and finally uh, Mendel actually uh, uh, sorry uh, Bettison actually uh, reading Mendel's paper uh, and uh, and he actually confirmed or it is like uh, said the apostle of Mendel works Mendel's work that was given by uh, Bettison uh, basically uh, Mendel selected a, a good organism and a good trait uh, I don't know whether it is uh, how much lucky Mendel was uh, uh, but the thing is that uh, the traits that Mendel was studying is actually controlled by a single gene and that is why uh, Mendel uh, like through his uh, statistical skills and observational skill he actually um, um, finally concluded his uh, theories. Now in 1905 uh, with this laughter reading uh, Mendel's work uh, and with more scientific and experimental uh, intervention finally Bettison actually coined the term genetics and he put uh, Mendel as the correct one. Mendel's experiments were correct and his theories even in the explanations were um, were correct uh, and uh, basically uh, but but still another uh, thing still existed that if uh, all these uh, experiments are correct if Mendel is correct then uh, the next question appears where these genes or the factors are located um, the, the idea was not actually not new because Walter Sutton Bovary they also proposed that these kinds of chromosome theory earlier um, that uh, whatever the trait we see outside is actually located within the chromosome but there was no experimental um, evidence but finally uh, uh, T.H. Morgan at the Columbia University in 1910 with his fruit fly um, the famous experiment of fruit fly he actually concluded um, uh, experimentally that uh, this genes are actually located in the uh, chromosomes uh, and finally mm, uh, now, now, now these things are okay that that uh, Mendel uh, dealt with different kinds of traits, but still we in nature we see different kinds of traits that actually varies from generation to generation. So these uh, things are actually continuously varies, and uh, how this um, uh, variable uh, context uh, related to genetics we will discuss in our next next uh, lecture. So thank you.